Today we're making our restaurant's flagship dish, called fata. It comes from Shami cuisine and it's served in Syria, Lebanon, the Palestinian territories and Jordan. Fata is made from chickpeas, breadcrumbs, tahini, yogurt and clarified butter. It can be served in its classic version or with added shaitel meat on top. Our restaurant, El Kalcha, is located in the Jaffa region of Israel. The first original family restaurant was opened by my great-grandfather 100 years ago. In 1936, my family left Israel for Kuwait, where they opened another successful restaurant serving the same Shami dishes. Later on, they immigrated again, this time to Jordan, where El Kalcha was born. Today, there are over 30 branches of El Kalcha in Jordan, all run by relatives who keep our great-grandfather's recipes alive. My mother and I opened the Israeli branch a year and a half ago during the corona pandemic. I wanted to offer people great, inexpensive food, and that's when I decided to return to my roots and reopen the restaurant. I experimented with the dishes for months, but only when my mother approved the final flavors, we started rolling. Today we work side by side, she's in charge of the recipes, and I execute them and take care of the clients. The Fatah's recipe takes years of experimenting to get it just right. Many cooks have tried to upgrade it with some fancy ingredients, but they missed the secret. It's an iconic dish which should be kept simple but accurate, made to perfection. When making it, you have to be very focused to bring out the best version every time around.